Are you using a smartphone, a car, any electronic device with some smart elements like an electronic toothbrush or a rice cooker? Well, then you partake in the problem we all share. A significant global shortage in microchips. Many complex electronics don't work without them, so... How did this happen? And how and when will we get out of this crisis? But first, what are the consequences for us? There's a production delay for many electronic devices. Did you know that Apple's iPhone 12 hit stores two months later than expected because of the chip shortage? But it's more serious than that. Take Brazil, for example. About 90% of chips used in the country are imported. Due to the shortage of semiconductors, Volkswagen had to suspend vehicle productions in Paraná and Sao Paulo for 10 days. And even worse, Brazil's own main semiconductor producer, state-owned Saytech, is now in the process of being liquidated for not reaching the projections. The company produces everything from car identification to passport technology to digital solutions in agriculture. So the chip shortage is a big deal. Brazilian factory workers out of work and companies making losses. The car industry was hit the hardest by the chip shortage. It is estimated that worldwide car manufacturers will lose 110 billion US dollars in revenue this year. In this crisis, apart from companies, the consumer will pay the price. Because of the high demand, manufacturers charge more for microchips, which means that electronic devices using them will most likely be more expensive. How did we get into this mess? The short answer, COVID. Factories had to close due to the pandemic. And with the lockdown, consumer demand for new computers, tablets and gaming consoles was much, much higher. Just so you can be the smartest in small talk. A microchip is a set of electronic circuits on a piece of silicon. Silicon is a semiconductor. Mixed with other materials, it can be more or less conductive. This makes it possible to turn an electric current on or off, meaning more complex electronic devices need microchips. Unfortunately, the crisis seems to be getting worse. New COVID-19 outbreaks in Asia affect manufacturers. Most microchips, over 60%, came from Taiwan last year. The biggest foundry is TSMC, which also produces chips for Apple and Nvidia. Since early May, Taiwan's COVID cases have been on the rise. Another problem is the climate crisis. Taiwan has been struck with the worst drought in decades, resulting in water shortages. Water is essential in chip manufacturing. Experts estimate the crisis to last at least throughout 2022. So what now? Set up more factories? Yes, but it's not that easy. Semiconductors are intricate little things. They need to be produced in highly controlled environments. These factories can take two years to build and cost billions of dollars. But still, right now, the world depends to a large extent on Taiwan, which is not a safe bet, it seems. The US just reacted with a bill that will use $52 billion to fund semiconductor research and manufacturing initiatives. Investing in new factories all around the world might not solve the crisis right now, but it might be a solution for the future. What do you think? How can the chip shortage be solved? Let us know what you think in the comments. And while you're here, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. That's it from me. Bye.